everybody and welcome to another assembly. I hope you've had a lovely week. It's been our first week of shorter hours, but most importantly, our first week in Ramadan. So for today's assembly, it, it won't be a long one, but I feel like I always start off saying that and then it does end up being one. We have two spotlights on talent today. And then I have a message from one of our little grade one students. So as we know, and as we saw in the Ramadan video by our Islamic department and students in the primary and secondary school, Ramadan is really a month for all Muslims to really reflect about doing good and, and being part of the community. Now, I know that's been a little bit difficult considering our <laughs> current situation about the community being involved. But a very interesting idea to say, how do we all stay connected while we have this huge distance between all of us? Well, this is one of them, electronics. I want to say a lot of electronics, technology, as to how we all stay together. So have a listen to what Miriam would like to share with you. Hello, friends. Ramadan Mubarak, and I've got this awesome idea. Instagram has created this super duper cool and simple challenge. It's called the Month of Good Challenge. So it's super duper simple to do. Every day you got to share your act of good on Instagram. Do a hashtag Month of Good and tag DIA Barsha and challenge others to do, to do it. And hope you help me to spread some more kindness around the earth and global. Thank, Thank you, you, Miriam. Can you believe a little grade one student with an, an initiative for us to do? And I think it is something fairly easy because I believe that DIA Sharks, we naturally try to do our best all the time. And we try to do good. Now, as she said, the whole point is, is it's the month of good. Doing a little bit of kindness, showing some caring and kindness to family, to siblings, to whoever is around you. Even if it's just picking up a phone and phoning grandpa and grandma overseas just to say, how are you doing? Or sending a message to one of your class friends just to say, hey, how are you doing? What are you up to? The month of of good. Now, I know she said about tagging on Instagram, and you are most welcome to do so, moms and dads, because boys and girls, you can't be on Instagram. You're not the right age yet. So moms and dads, if you would like to share um, some acts of kindness in the month of good, please do feel free to hashtag month of good and hashtag DIA Barsha for us, please. That would be quite lovely to see. I wonder what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to give my mom a call um, who is in South Africa and she is at home. And I know that when my sister and I give a call, that's often the first time she's actually physically spoken. Well, not physically, but spoken to someone um, as she is in self-isolation and in lockdown at this point in time. And then also I know I give my sister a call out in Melbourne and my two nephews, Ross and Scott, who are doing online learning at the moment as they are also not in school just to find out how they are and what they are up to so I think we can all do something because you know what our sharks are really really caring it's one of the things that I'm so proud of of all our sharks so Miriam great idea and would love to just see a little bit of kindness um, yes it means boys and girls even if you help mom wash the dishes after iftar or doing something that's they normally always ask you to do and then you've just gone and done it out of your own. I know that shouldn't be seen as an act of good, but it actually is. We know in this time and day and age, it is an act of good. So please participate um, if you feel free to do so. Thank you, Miriam. Do you think from a grade one student? Thank you. Because next up, we have one of our Spotlight Talent participants. Jay Sahaj sent in a video and he wanted to share it with you all. Jay Sahaj, thank you very much for being a good risk taker there. And um, so from grade 4B, Mr. Mustafa's class, and I'm going to sit play now, move on to Jay Sahaj's Spotlight on Talent. I've made it just a little bit short so that it's not the, the full version, but enjoy and thank you for sending something through. Hi Miss Candice, this is for the talent spot 
for next assembly. So I wanted to do an honor by singing a song I like the most. Had to had high, high hopes for the living. Shooting for the stars where we're gonna make a killing. Didn't have a time, but I always had a vision. Always had high, high hopes. Had to had high, high hopes for the living. Didn't know how, but I always had a vision. Always gonna be that one in a million. Always had high, high hopes. Mama said, Go fill the prophecy, be something greater. Go make a legacy, man of his destinies. Back in the days, we wanted everything. We wanted everything. Mama said, burn your biographies, rewrite your history, light up your wildest dreams, museum victories. Every day, we wanted everything. We wanted everything. Mama said, don't give up, it's a little complicated, all tied up, no more love, and I hate to see you waiting, had to have high, high hopes for the living, shooting for the stars where we're gonna make a killing, didn't have a time, but I always had a vision, always had high, high hopes. And next up. We have another spotlight on talent. Yes, two this week because we missed out on last week. So let's have a listen to Diana from grade five. I wonder what she will be doing. I know a musical instrument is involved. Have a listen. Sahaj and Diana for sending in some spotlight talent items. We really do appreciate it. It's so nice to see. Oh, I just used the nice word. Let me quickly rewind. Wow, it is so awesome to see how our students have super talent and are willing to share that with us. Be a risk taker and just share it out for the thousands of people around the world to see. Well, for us DIA sharks to see. Right. What's up next? Hmm. Yes, the PYP award winners for this week. Right, and here we go, our award winners for this week. So, having a look, what your teachers have said. In grade 1A, we have Serania is getting a knowledgeable award. And that's for maths and writing skills that have improved greatly. And Miriam is getting a balanced award. Always completes all activities to a high standard and enthusiasm. Well done. In grade 1B, we have Iad, who's getting a risk taker award for attempting many of the challenges. And we are uh, getting a principled award, well, giving a principled award to Irev, who has been taking part with great responsibility for her learning each week. In Grade 1C, we have Leah, who's getting a Thinker Award. Leah has done every task to a high standard and has thought carefully about what she writes and produces. And then Dennis is getting a Principled Award. Dennis has been incredibly principled throughout the last six weeks, always trying to work on his work and do better. Right, now to our Grade 2s. In Miss Karen's class, Adam is getting a principled award. Adam has kept up consistent effort in completing all his tasks diligently. And then we have Shania who's getting a balanced award. Shania has submitted some super work and has shown great enthusiasm in her efforts and participation. In grade 2b we have, wow, three. We have a principled award for Salma. Um, Salma has been very dedicated in her work. 
Twin Sister is getting a balanced award, so that goes to Maita. Maita has shown to be very reflective on wanting to improve on her work. And Neil is getting a caring award for making an excellent video explaining on how to use colors and the adverb in Arabic. Wow, Neil, so mathletics and Arabic, man of many talents. And then we have in grade 2C, Faisal is getting an action award. Faisal has taken great pride in his work and is working hard on his presentation skills. And we have Aiden is getting an Inquirer award. Aiden inquired and created an excellent poster all about gravity and air resistance. Hmm. Then in grade two, we have Aziz is getting a knowledgeable award for sharing excellent knowledge of fractions. And Noah is getting a thinker award for thinking about his activities and his presentation of all the knowledge he has gained. Well done, grade ones and twos. High five, fist bump. You are awesome. Right, shall we move on to our grade threes? So in grade 3A, Kanish, you are getting a communicator award for the work you are putting into the comprehension books and understanding more about what you are reading. France is getting a thinker award, you know, a dunk, a dunk by Oleg France, for working so hard and diligently and the improvement in your understanding of English. Good job. In grade 3B, Bhuvan. Bhuvan is getting a reflective award for reflecting and giving feedback um, and improving the quality of his work. And then we have Naya, who's getting a thinker award. Naya for participating in all maths lessons and improving on multiplication. Multiplication can be so tricky. 3C, Vian is getting a communicator award. Vian shared his thinkings often in class this week and helped move our discussion forward. Good job, Vian. And Akisa, I think I'm saying that right, please don't, please don't. Akisa, A-Q-S-A, help me out there, please, is getting a Thinker Award um, for always ready to share for all the subjects this week and looked into our new inquiry, finding out more information about it. Wow, grade fours. Oh, wow, let's have a look here. We've got... Ved and Radhika are both getting a Communicator Award. Ved for using his great collaboration skills and making an awesome contribution to teamwork. And Radhika for making such a positive contribution in teams in your group. And then Sid is getting a Principled Award. Sid, your organization, your focus, your determination to complete all tasks on time is so principled. Well done. In grade 4B, we have Rana. Rana is getting a Communicator Award um, for contributing and expressing her ideas and thoughts more. And then Arham is getting a Reflective Award for reflecting on advice and making better choices. Good job. Love it when people make better choices. In 4C, we have Yara, one of my other R's, is getting a Balanced Award. Yara for completing her task with enthusiasm and with high standards. And Talal is getting a Caring Award. Talal has been very active during our live sessions and helps others when they are struggling and listens to others when they need a friend. Talal, I might just give you a call to listen to what I have to say. Thank you. And then our seniors of the school. Grade 5A. Yusuf is getting a balanced award um, for his life amazingly well as coped with, oh, sorry, Yusuf, my apologies, for balancing your life amazingly well with all that you need to do while being in quarantine for the next two weeks as you are now in Australia. All right, and Troy, you're getting a Thinker Award. Go, Troy! Troy has shown incredible enthusiasm for his exhibition top topic, leading to the deep level of thought and subsequent knowledge. Well done. In 5B, Agnes. Agnes returned to Romania and has not missed a single day of learning. She is diligently inquiring into PYP topic of bullying for the PYP exhibition. And Yakin is also getting an award for showing true grit and determination in researching about the plight 
of homeless people and they are both getting an Inquirer Award. In 5C, Eon, you are getting an award for being principled. Eon for completing extra tasks without being asked to. And Arnav also getting a principled award for being a great leader in his exhibition work and helping others. And last but not least, grade 5D. Mark, you are getting a knowledgeable award. Mark has been working so well in researching and creating his own curriculum for PYP. Look at that. And Polly, you are getting a balanced award this week. Polly has submitted awesome work in all subjects, especially her 10-minute writing challenge. Well done, everybody. Brilliant job. Love hearing all about these PYP exhibition topics and everybody else with your awards that you are getting. Let me turn to this little camera because I keep remembering I have to look into the little dot. Um, thank you. And I just, when I look at those names and I hear everyone doing so well, it makes me miss you even more so. Right. What's up next? And just before we finish up, I have got... The Ramadan assembly competition that Mr. Salman and his department ran and the results are in. We have tied for second place with Sia Rupani in grade 4B and Yakin Atta in grade 5 B, well done, tied second and the winner of the Ramadan competition. That was for our assembly and are getting knowledgeable awards goes to Manha Ebert in grade 3C. Congratulations, the three of you. Well done. And thank you once again to our Islamic department for an awesome Ramadan assembly. Ramadan Kareem to you all. Right, and here we are on our next segment of our PYP assembly. Our grade five students are busy with their PYP exhibition. Now, for those parents who are new to PYP, this is the culmination of their PYP journey. So every school in the world who has a PYP class in their final year have to do a huge project. This project is done over eight weeks. It is looking at taking action, finding where there's an issue globally or locally, Sometimes it's even good if it's a local issue and it seems to be seems to be the same as a global issue. And finding out what could they do. First, research about it. Why is it the way that it is? Why is it happening? What causes and impact does it have on society? Um, and then what action could they do to try and support that? Again, an act of kindness. And around the world, everyone is absolutely just for a pause at this point, because how do we go about it when the key focus of PYP exhibition is collaboration, is meeting with people and meeting with others when we are in this current situation? And some schools have opted not to do it, to get permission from IB not to participate in the PYP exhibition. And our school only in its second year, and we don't have to do the PYP exhibition, only in our third year, we already started doing this last year and we said, you know what, what better way than to be a true risk taker than to give this a go online. And so our grade five students have been busy, hard at work behind the scenes with their meetings, collaborating with each other online, getting through some topics. And yes, we've come across some challenges in the way that we've gone about it, but absolutely so impressed and proud of how our grade five students have taken this on board. And so one of the classes interviewed each other and asked each other some questions. And I thought to, when I got to see this video, why not share that with you so that you can get a bit of an idea what the PYP exhibition is all about. So grade four students, this is really for you because you are going to be the grade fives next year and you are going to be doing a PYP exhibition and fingers crossed, it's in the proper proper um, environment of being in class, at school and working together with your friends and colleagues who have the same passion about a topic. Now the kids have selected their own cause, their own topic. They create their own central idea and lines of inquiry. They focus on what the key concept is. And the role of the teacher is that of mentor, is meeting with them, seeing what they are doing, how they are going about it, giving some advice. But the whole journey, the whole reason for this is, 
overcoming challenges when working in a group. And we know how fun that can be. Sometimes people can be fun working within a group, even your best friends. After a while, we can get irritated with one another. But how do you cope with that? How do you overcome that? How do you have three or four people in a group with different ideas? How do you decide which path to follow? Which idea to take? Do you learn to compromise? Do you learn to give and take? Do you learn to listen for each other's opinions? Hmm. Have a listen to what grade 5B are up to with their exhibition. Thank you, Ms. Sonali and class. What does exhibition mean to you? In my opinion, exhibition means to, to express yourself through a topic, the, a topic that you're passionate about, and, through, and by taking action. Exhibition is a way to make the world a better place by inquiry and studying the function of your topic. Exhibition means cooperating, collaborating, taking responsibility, and exhibition is also when you acknowledge the impact of other people if they're gaining knowledge or you getting knowledge. Um, exhibition means when we participate and we, we, and not, we help our groups and other groups. So exhibition means when uh, exhibition is a topic that we, we, we want to study and we help other people with it. And, um, and we see and we pick a, and we pick a topic and see if other people are gaining knowledge. As a student, what do you hope to achieve? Hi, so today I'm going to answer as a, the question, as a student, what do you hope to achieve? So during exhibition, I hope to achieve many things like self-confidence, uh, being more uh, independent, uh, being more open-minded about others and their feelings. And one more thing I want to achieve is that um, I want to make people happy. What is your topic and why did your group choose it? We chose animal abuse because we feel strongly about this topic. And if we take action, we feel that we could make a big difference. And animal abuse is a big problem because all these animals are being hurt and abused, and that's not right. What is inquiry? Inquiry for me means when you dig deeper into a very thick question. And there is something called an inquiry cycle, which tells you steps on inquiring into a very thick question. Hi, my name is Laura, and today I will be asking you the question, how has your thinking changed? How has my thinking changed? Well, my thinking changed towards my next step in the exhibition, because we're now online, and being online isn't that easy, because we have to think about the next step. If we were at school right now, I would be thinking from my perspective the exact same way. But now my thinking has changed because now we are going to be online and we are going to be more risky and we won't be able to even go on field trips to see that person and really interview them. We have to have it online and we have to wait for the person to respond. So my thinking has to change towards my next step. So I repeat, my thinking changed towards my next step. Thank you. What advice would you give other groups? Hi, my question is what advice would you give to other groups? My advice I'd give to other groups is to actually take action because this is what this whole unit is about. You should write emails to other companies so they can deepen your understanding. Um, you should actually like um, write websites so people can know that you're taking action, write books, write whatever. That has to do with taking action for your topic. Um, and you should also be rethinkers because other people might do things that you wouldn't even imagine and they might be really good ideas. So, and you never don't fight. Bye. What are the challenges you're facing by doing this online? One of the challenges we face in online learning is we can't physically be there to help our teammates out. And example, I'm giving an instruction, put this document to your left, he puts it to the right, the sound cuts off, he gets kicked out of the meeting, he's muted, his audio's off, there's many problems. And it would just be better if we were physically there to help each other.
because it would take less the time, and when it's online, it takes twice the time because of how hard it is to communicate with each other. We created our central idea by using the concept verb concept format. We summed up our lines of inquiry into one sentence that made sense in the topic but was also broad. We also included a connecting word like shapes, connects, or influences. That is how we created a meaningful central idea. Hello, my name is Kassan. Today I'm going to be telling you on how me and my group felt when we were doing the exhibition. So basically, we were like we were a bit stressed. I don't know about my other roommates, but for me, definitely, I was kind of stressed. And it, and it was like a fun activity. And we're like making a game, which is pretty st stressful, but I still like it. I think that the... The quote that sums it up the most is that there are always going to be good or bad people in life. You have to learn to get used to it and help others get used to it. That, I think, helps for the bullying. I think it explains you, sh you have to help others on and help others get used to bullying and help others and help them with their problems. Grade fives. Um, I'm sure during the rest of the, the course of the PYP exhibition, we will hear more from our other grade five classes. But lovely to see grade five be um, sharing with us their journey so far. So there we go, boys and girls. This brings to an end our assembly. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you are ready for a good weekend and a bit of a break. Um, to all our families celebrating um, Ramadan. We hope that you have a lovely time as well. And thank you, boys and girls, for another awesome week here at Distance Learning for DIA El Bosha. Stay